In this video, I'm going to show you the cropping options in Corel Draw. Uh, now, there are a lot of ways how to crop a picture or, you know, reshaping the um, uh, the the borders. So I'll give you some situations. So, for example, here, uh, you want to make like a black border around, or say, you know, any colored border. Here's what you do. So we're gonna use power clip for this. So for example, you're gonna create a square like that. Or it doesn't need to be square. Let's just say for example here, like that. And then what, an option too is you can also round the corner. So shape tool, and then you go like this. And then what you're gonna do here, you're gonna power clip this one. So make sure to click on the image or the bitmap and then go to objects, power clip, place inside the frame and the frame is the you know the uh, the shape that we just did and then make sure just to click on the edge of the shape and that's it right now if uh, with this one you can always go to the line tool here and then you can uh, increase the size of the thickness and then you can also change the color of the uh, you can even use the dropper and so for example here and then you click OK oops click there and then say click OK and then now you have like a, a different kind of border so the advantage of power clip when you're cropping an object is that when you click on this one and then just mouse over here you can see there is an edit button here so edit power clip that is very useful because then it goes back to your original one so for example you want to move this up like that or you can even enlarge it like that and then you can mouse over again and then you can see this icon here for finish editing power clip so that's the main advantage um, I'm going to compare it to the other cropping tool, like the the normal cropping tool. So the normal cropping tool in Corel Draw is this one here. If you click on the crop tool, okay, and then you say you can create a rectangle or any, or a square. And then you can also still resize it, right? Say for example here, I want to crop it that way. And then hit enter to crop. Now, the disadvantage here is that, number one, I can't make a border. Number two, I cannot make a radius like this, right? And then number three, what if I want to place the, you know, like move this, like change the position of my cropping? I cannot do it anymore because it's already a bitmap. It's already cropped like the, the, uh, the image around was already deleted. So that's why I stick to power clip in uh, in cropping objects because here in power clip you can always go back to it's still there, right? You can change the position, you can make it bigger, and then just finish the object. Now, um, so that's uh, that's the two ways of cropping. Another way to crop is um, I'm gonna go back to my original image here I'm gonna paste it here here so another way to crop is for example you have you want to um, crop it but then you can all but without you know without losing the the outer image so here's what you do so you click on your shape tool okay make sure that you select your bitmap first and then this nodes here is actually, see that one, it crops, right? So for example, I wanna do it here, I can do that. Now I'm gonna back to the selection tool. Not like the first, uh, the first, you know, the, uh, you know, the first cropping tool that we did, it deletes the outer part. This one it's not, because if you can go back to your shape tool and then move this over there, it's still there. So that's uh, you're just reshaping the uh, uh, the bitmap, but you're not actually deleting the outer part. Now you would say, um, but is this the only 
way I can crop using the shape tool? No, because what you can do, you can add more nodes here. So for example, here, I'm gonna double click here. Make sure you're in the shape tool. So double click, it adds a node, right? And I'm gonna double click here too. It adds another node, but then you can again, reshape it, okay? Now reshaping, um, it's still there. If I go like this, it's still there. So my point here is that you're a bit flexible here to do it. So an example here is I can also make this curve. So click on this and then you go to your convert to curve. I can reshape it. See that? I can even uh, change the contour of the, you know, of the line. So just double click, double click. Hey, for example, here, I want to put it there. Double click here. And then I can also smoothen this out. So that's the, the other way of cropping. You can even remove the background of this if you are really, I mean, this is not the fastest way, but what I'm saying is that um, it is possible to do it. So for example, here, I'm just gonna add See, you're removing the background. There. So that's the potential of it. But now the only thing here is you cannot put a border around. Right? Not like this one, you can. So if I'm going to do this again, I'm going to paste another one here. And uh, I'm just going to put it here. There's a lot of ways to crop. So for example, here, I want to draw a circle, right? And then I'll also draw a rectangle here. Okay. And then say I'm going to reshape that like that, put a radius corners. And then these two objects here, the circle and this rectangle with the radius corners, I can actually weld this, click on weld. So it welds it already. But then I can also put this one power clip and place inside the frame to this one here. If this one shows up, it means to say you didn't click on the edge. So just make sure you're clicking on the edge. That's it, right? And then again, you can always change the thickness of line, say that one. So yeah, so that's uh, this is a short tutorial in cropping.